The Sega Game Gear, which was released in 1991, was my first gaming handheld, and it's one of Sega's most iconic systems. Now, if you have one of these or recently picked one up at your local garage sale, chances are it doesn't work. Either it won't turn on, or like this unit here, it won't have any sound and barely display an image. All these issues and more are most likely caused by faulty electrolytic capacitors that have gone bad over the years. The Game Gear, unfortunately, is notorious for having really low quality caps. Left unaddressed, old leaky capacitors can wreak havoc and destroy the console beyond repair. So today, I'm going to show you how I replace all the faulty electrolytic capacitors in a Sega Game Gear to ensure it lives a long and healthy life. Now, this console was very kindly sent to the channel by Postman from Gamebox Systems. I'll be using this very console to show off their newest Game Gear consoleizer kit, the GG HD. That video will come out very soon, so make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you don't miss it. Now, Gamebox will include a set of brand new capacitors with every GG HD kit, which is nice since even working Game Gears with the original capacitors should have them all replaced. Now, some of these caps seem to be from a company called Capson, which isn't a brand I heard of. I typically use Nishikon or Rubicon caps, which are reputable brands. So you may be better off using your own caps bought from Console 5, but it is still nice to have these as a backup. Anyway, to get started, you'll want to open up the console and take note of what revision motherboard you have. This one here is a VA1 revision with a 837-9024 motherboard. So I usually like to head over to console5.com and download the capacitor map from their wiki, which shows all the capacitors and their locations along with a list of their values. And for good measure, I always like to take a photo of the motherboard before I start, just in case I need it for future reference. So with everything all set and good to go, let's get started. Now this video will primarily just show the process, and I hope it's as therapeutic for you as it is for me. So sit back, relax, and enjoy.
Okay, all the caps have been replaced, and it's time for the moment of truth. Let's see if it turns on. Fantastic, another Game Gear saved. With all these new caps installed in this console, it is ready for many more years of enjoyment. Anyway guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to be on the lookout for the next one covering the all new GGHD Consolizer Kit from Gamebox Systems, which should be coming out very soon. But until then, have a great day, and I'll see you all next Thursday.